Chotai Popeye is a pretty decent cartoon, although I've seen quite a few Popeyes. I don't think I'd seen one before. It doesn't feature either olive oil or Bluto. This one is just Popeye. Well, Popeye and a mouse. This is a cartoon from Famous Studios, of course, released in 1952. It's directed by Izzy Sparber and Al Eugster and written by Irv Spector. And we have voices provided by Jack Mercer, who voices Popeye, and Izzy Sparber voices the mouse. And Popeye is snoring really loudly, and the mouse who lives in the wall is unable to sleep. So the mouse gets his own back on Popeye and then goes back to bed. Everything's fine, but then Popeye gets his own back on the mouse and it goes back and forth quite a lot. And it's it's good fun. It's not the most complex narrative. It's very straightforward. Popeye's snoring, the mouse isn't happy. And the mouse has some pretty good tricks up its sleeve. It's certainly not predictable. For example, there's a scene, without spoiling it too much, but hopefully to whet your appetite, there's a police officer at one point for like four seconds. But there are, I won't say why or what the context is, but there are several things in this that I hadn't expected. So it was pretty engaging and pretty fun and very well animated. No problems with the animation. We have a lot of soft pastel colours, which I have to admit always is my favourite. I do like bright, bold colours, but when it comes to cartoons, particularly classic animations like this. I just, I, I love a soft colour palette. And the mouse, I like the design of the mouse. It's a very nice design, but you can tell it's got a kind of sinister side to it when it when it makes its little facial expressions. It's a, a very sweet, um, sweet character though, nonetheless, and I did like the mouse. And I hate snoring, so I completely side with the mouse with this one. I can't sleep if there's any noise. So I'm, I love Popeye, but I'm on the mouse's side. It is a little slow in part, and I do think maybe they could have brought in another character, i.e. Olive Oil, maybe, I don't know how exactly maybe Olive Oil could have been in the room with Popeye, but it was Popeye who was the only one snoring. I don't know, I just feel like it could have given it a little bit more because it did get a little bit repetitive as we entered the final third of the cartoon, but not so much that I was bored, nothing like that. And I guess they did try and bring in other characters, such as with the police officer. So. Definitely seems like a some effort was made, and generally that does come across. Nice animation, very straightforward, simple but effective narrative. As I said, it's the first Popeye I've seen that doesn't feature any of the other main characters, and it works. It works really well. Shut Eye Popeye is definitely one I recommend if you haven't seen it.